Valentina, hello, how are you? <laughs> Jane and Jose are neighbours in Reading and they're sponsoring neighbours Alexandra and Valentina from Kiev. But this is as close as they've got. How is uh, the weather in England now? Sunny, warm. Yeah. Their hospitality is on hold while the families wait for visas. It's a good idea uh, to get such opportunity to go to your country uh, to, to, to try to start a normal life. But uh, this process must be quicker, much more quicker. OK, it's be maybe some days, but not weeks, not months. It's too long. It's too, too long for people who are now in Ukraine. They applied for visas over two weeks ago, but so far only one's been approved. So I'll show you up here where there's a nice big room that they're going to stay in. With everything ready in Reading, it's frustrating too for host families. We've got two beds for the two boys that are going to come. OK. Uh, we've got a bed for mum as well. They're in a country that they are not used to. Uh, they're waiting. There's no news. Um, the boys are getting distressed uh, because they're obviously in, in limbo. Um, and it's just really difficult day on day, not knowing what's happening and knowing that the space is here, but there's nobody using it. And you're ready to take them, aren't Absolutely. You? Nearly 80,000 Ukrainians have applied for visas, with 40,900 granted. So far, 12,000 people have arrived in the UK, just 1,200 of them through the sponsorship scheme. The government admits it's taking time. I know that people are uh, disappointed uh, with the progress of the, of the visa regime. The Home Secretary was out this week expressing her frustration and regret that it hasn't been quicker. But we are motoring now. Labour says the delays are a disgrace. I do not understand why Priti Patel is so failing to get a grip on this. Ministers and officials have both admitted that they can do them really quickly. That's not what's holding things up. It's not the security checks. It's the fact that they've added huge amounts of bureaucracy, that they've never got a grip of this. Can you see? This is the house. They're desperate to arrive, but they're stuck and stranded, with their safety hampered by red tape and rules. I hope to see you very soon. Yes. Take care. <laughs> to meet you. Yes, us too. Same. Laura Bundock, Sky News, in Reading.